Good morning guys and welcome back to UK Diver. If it's your first time here, then just welcome. I'm very glad to be here and I'm very glad to see you here. And today we are at Sea Houses because we are doing some diving with the seals. Simply, my buddy for the day, Katie. <laughs> Hi Katie. Hi. Has been up here a few times and every time she's been, she's been blown out. So she's coming with Andy and we're going to go and dive some seals. So come along and join us. So here we are guys in sea houses and as you can see we're using Farn Islands tours and the boat we're actually on was called Serenity 2. Now I've not used any of the Serenity boats before but I can highly recommend them after spending the weekend on one. Happy to report that we had some glorious sunshine in calm seas and where we're actually heading to is one of my absolutely favourite dive sites for meeting seals and that is the Hopper. So almost as soon as we jumped in guys we met this first seal now when you dive the hopper you want to jump in at the wall and then keep the wall on your right hand side and, and fin along that way and you'll get to this little sand patch where i've never failed to meet a first seal now i'm going to give you a tip with seals here when you're diving with them guys don't eyeball them okay the timid creatures they're shy I and mean, if you look at the seal here it's completely ignoring me not looking at me the best you get is a little glance there we are sideways and then they'll look away again and you see is ignoring me and that's exactly what you need to do with them i'm not looking at this seal at all i've got my camera down the side of me which is unfortunately why the footage is a little bit wobbly but that's what you need to do if, if you just eyeball them you stare them straight in the eye it's too aggressive for them they get scared and they'll swim off Although there was plenty of seals about this weekend, they weren't super playful. It was a little bit early in the year to get the new pups. So there was plenty about, but none of them were really playing with you. Until we met this little gorgeous cutie here. And this was our absolute star of the weekend. So right here where I'm sort of videoing it, she's been playing with me, nibbling me, nibbling the camera, nibbling my hands. And she basically wants to play fetch with this bit of kelp here look, that she's doing. So I'm trying to kind of get her to pass over to Katie's play with Katie so I get some video. And just here, she gets bored with me and does move over and have a little play with Katie. I've played this game lots with seals with many years diving in the farms and it's very quickly they'll lose interest with the kelp because they see that all the time and they want a little nibble of something else now. Katie is about to have her fingers nibbled on and you'll see in a second that uh, when the seal gives us just a little nip, which they do, like I say, they, they, they're feeling you out, she jumps, makes the seal jump and then it swims away. So when you get to this bit of the hopper guys, this is where you want to hang around. So there's a big crack in the rocks here and it's like boulder lined and this is where I've seen them like 30, 40 of them sat sleeping. If there's none there when you get there, then do hang around because I wanted to bet cash that within a few minutes you'll have a seal come play with you. And the farms isn't all about the seals guys there is plenty of other wildlife being like a voluntary marine reserve and voluntary no take zone there is lots and lots of life to see and this lobster i don't know what it was doing i mean lobsters normally back into a hole straight away and this one certainly seemed to be having a bit of a wrestling match with whatever else was in there but it was determined to get in but i've never seen a lobster kind of out in the open like this it was very vulnerable at this point but uh, yeah i couldn't see what it was trying to do This one was at least the right way around, but it was a bit smaller. And normally if you hold your hand like this, the little antennas all sort of check you out and then it'll normally come out and have a cheeky nip at you. But this one was a bit more timid and, and when it was clear he wasn't playing, you know, we'll leave him alone. Just below him was this little flatfish. Now I've been told by some fishy experts that if it's a flatfish on a rock, it's a top knot. So yeah, this is a top knot. Welcome to one of my favourite creatures in the sea. I absolutely love these guys. Now, this is what's called a butterfish. Now, you're probably looking at it thinking, 
it looks a bit like an eel because it's slithering around like an eel. And they do move like an eel and they look like an eel, but I believe it's a little blenny. But I think they are just super cool. This guy's probably no more than sort of 12 or 13 centimeters long. I'm really close. And I think one of the reasons I like him is because they're quite photogenic. You know, this one's quite chilled. It's quite happy with me being there and videoing him. And he's sort of scooching around looking for the next meal. You know, they're very, very good hunters, sticking their heads in places, you know, getting little shrimps and things like that. But absolutely one of my favorite, favorite things uh, to see. I, I, I absolutely adore these. So I had to include some footage of this guy because he's just so super cute. He's clearly a baby something, isn't he? Because he's definitely got to grow into that head and eyes. But I have absolutely no idea what. Perhaps he's a baby one of these Pollock that I see in a second because there was a massive shoal of that around these. Uh, just absolutely thousands of these fish. And it was great to see such a large shoal of fish in the UK. So look at this guys, look at this. You wouldn't believe it. So we've got a little dip, a little bowl in this rock and here we find a curled octopus just sort of flattened himself in. So I've got to give credit to Katie, she spotted this, but I was able to get super close and get some really good footage of this guy because he just didn't move. He was motionless. I couldn't even see his breathing tube at one point and we got sort of a full sort of, you know, 180 round with him and you know, I, I pushed me luck a little bit I got a bit too close and it would look like he was going to bolt now if a seal saw this it, it would have been devoured I didn't want the guy getting eaten so so when he goes to go I'm just like no mate it's all right I'm going to back off we're going to like oh, oh, no 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 need to go no need to go I'm going I'm going to back off you you relax and we sort of had a little word had a little chat sort of you know establish boundaries you know what I mean you've got to respect the wildlife and not push your luck so just fin backwards a little bit he sort of relaxed kept an eye on me and he settled down right as rain again and we sort of left him alone but what an absolutely brilliant little find so that's it guys the farms for 2022 done if you like this video and you like this content then please do let me know by giving that like button a little tappy tap because it does let me know that the effort i go into to put these videos together for you is appreciated but other than that guys i'm off to malta in a couple of weeks so i guess i will see you on that look after yourself Dive safe, and as always, I will see you on the next one.